For more than half a century, war cut this land off from the rest of the world. Thus the quest for elephants and those who hunted them were forgotten. Today there is peace at last, but the region is still closed to foreigners. The local inhabitants have witnessed tremendous change in their lives. Makun is one of the rare survivors of ancient traditions. He is the last of those who have devoted their lives to the elephants. He is the last ivory knight. Here, on the Yakdan, the sacred mountain, he continues to pass on the gestures and the knowledge needed to capture wild elephants. He is explaining to this young hunter how to chase young wild elephants and try to get their leather lassos around one of the hind legs. The origin of this incredible and dangerous method of capture goes back to ancient times, forming a unique link between the people and the elephants. Their fervent belief is that in the beginning, elephants were men. Until one day, a woman found some fish at the edge of a pond and gave them to her son, who was crying because he was hungry. The boy was transformed into an elephant calf. The mother hid her child and gave the rest of the fish to the non fishermen around the pond. They too were instantly changed into elephants. They returned to their village where they were given lots of rice to eat and sent away to learn to live in the forest. They left, but to repay the village, they promised that man could always call on them if they were needed. The calf told them that to do so, they must take a buffalo and some jars and prepare a great sacrifice and then, with the buffalo hide, make a rope for catching the elephants. Ever since that time, the elephant has been sacred. His capture is a mystical quest with many secrets that Makun has passed on to his sons. Isan, the youngest, is riding Bakam, the last elephant captured by his father. He's a young hunter, but very skilled. He has already taken four elephants. Along with his brothers Mave and Majung, Isan is on the trail of a small herd of wild elephants. Finding wild elephants is harder than it used to be, since deforestation and poaching have decimated the once very numerous herds in the region. The elephants have become more cautious. At the slightest suspicious sound, they quickly run away, whereas in the past, they would stay and fight. It's no longer easy for hunters to get close to young elephants, making their capture that much more difficult. They have to ride fairly heavy elephants to resist the charge of females trying to protect their young. Today, hunters use fast elephants like Bakam. However, they're not as powerful, which makes capture more dangerous since a violent attack by an angry female is always possible. Isan has found a young elephant separated from his herd. The surprised youngster smelled Bakam's presence and with his ears facing forward, observes the intruder. But as soon as Isan tries to get closer, the calf scurries away.
In spite of Bakam's speed, the wild elephant manages to escape his pursuer. A little later, the hunters get together again. Majung, who was able to cut the wild herd off, describes his adventure. Makun and his son's village is on the bank of Lake Eawe, near the Cambodian border in the province of Dak Lak. It's a matriarchal society. The women pass down the family name and the ethnic group. <laughs> on their return, the three sons go to their fathers to try to understand the reason for their failure. Em bắt ứng, kiểu em bắt nhưng mà không tiêu được kiểu da nhiều quá không đáp ứng. Anh lăn dòng co, việt man nó lại là màn mới, cạm với co là cực lại có sang, rồi sang bồng bùi bùng nụ nhẹ nhàng ba. Qua đi, chạm qua. Biết ai đi, biết ai chọn cái bà rọc. Biết ai nào cái chữ này? Cũng nó thật sự tội cậu tội rồi. Tại nhiều đường nhiều đường ta. The Mnongs do not capture such small elephants. The calves are still too dependent on their mothers. But this one was found alone in the forest. Poachers must have killed his mother. He could never have survived on his own, and the spirits require the hunters to take him in and raise him. The Mnongs never have such young elephants in the village because custom forbids them to have an elephant born in captivity. Elephants must be born free, like humans. One must never forget that, in the beginning, elephants were men. And so all the elephants in the village come from wild herds. They are first captured and then tamed. Although the women in the village have adopted the youngster and prepare the same food for him as for their own children, the old master knows that the calf has little chance of surviving. The rice broth they feed him every four hours cannot replace mother's milk.
Recent political events have forced the Minangs to settle in one place and against their will, they have become farmers. They can no longer move their village freely from one place to another and practice their tradition of burning the earth to prepare it for a new culture. And so when the rice harvest is over, they are happy to devote themselves to the elephants.